Hi guys, Retro Jingo here. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today let's reassemble an Amiga 4000. I just want to show you guys how simple the build up, the construction of the Amiga 4000 is. The cabinet, it's got this uh, little plastic protector for the motherboard. And this cabinet has been modded with this um, fan in the front that can suck some cold air in the cabinet because it's gonna be um, I'm gonna install the Cyberstore um, CPU card accelerator card and uh, it's a really really good idea to uh, to uh, give it some cold air in the front so we got the bottom side of the uh, cabinet the motherboard 2 megabyte chip RAM the holder for the cards Cyberstorm DVD burner, disk drive, PSU, uh, the front, and the motherboard, of course. So, um, and I got a noisy Commodore 64 in the background. I'm so sorry, guys. It's uh, on its, uh, it's the last test because a friend actually bought it. He's gonna pick it up, and it has been. Uh, I have been playing all morning, and um, it's it's gonna. It's gonna run in the back in the background because um, when I sell these old uh, hardware, <laughs> 30 years old, I really want to check them and double check them. I don't want no trouble for s so little amount of money, you know. So I just want to let it run and be 100% that <laughs> that it works. So in this video, uh, I can have a you're gonna listen to some Commodore 64s in the background. I hope it's okay, um, but other than that, let's get going guys. Let's get going. The motherboard has been installed. This is a Amiga 4000 motherboard revision revision B and it's got Super Buster Dash 11 and uh, almost on all my Amiga 4000s <laughs> the suckers for the RAM are chipped off here on the sides also on this one so I actually paid uh, for uh, installing a new socket with metal clip holders it was just so cheap and the, and the work was just great um, if you have an Amiga 4000 you can just send me a message I can uh, link you to this guy here in Denmark he's just he makes awesome job uh, repairing these Amigas and he's he's it's just so cheap man so um, the chip RAM has got these metal holders uh, and uh, I don't think they will ever break because Commodore used with the plastic holders and they all just, just broke down. So um, yeah. Alright, before I install the CPU, I just want to take a quick look at it. The, the carrier board for the MK1, Cyberstorm MK1. The CPU board here. I think this board just looks awesome. And uh, RAM expansion here. Two reasons uh, why I built this one into this cabinet. Number one, you can see the holder for the fast RAM has chipped off, so I can't install here. I don't know the, the rest, I haven't checked, but I don't have to because I have 128 megabytes of fast RAM directly on the CPU board which gives you great speed I mean I, I it's, it's a great board so the first reason is that the range here and the other one is the location of this fan in two seconds I will install this board and I will film again so you can see how the airflow just I mean you, you have to see this guys I will install it and uh, let's check a look all right, very, very few steps left. I have to install the front, um, the CD-ROM drive, this drive here. I'm actually not using them. This, uh, look at this, this is just a loose pin you just installed here that turns on, on and off the Amiga. 
Yeah. Well, the thing I just want to show you is um, this little mod that I love. Now, this fan is almost totally noiseless or what's it called? I don't know. The other Amiga 4000s I have does not have this because this is a mod. Um, and the work has been done really nice. Uh, you can see you can have a bigger fan than this. I think it's 50, 50 millimeters or 60. I don't, I don't know. I haven't measured, but if you use the standard 80, it will come up here, you know. Uh, so this is uh, really nice. And the hole that has been cut is it looked, it's looked like a laser cut. Real, really nice job. And um, on this uh, Amiga, I have this little uh, thick piece of plastic between the daughter board and uh, this um, CPU board because if you use the normal Commodore, I don't know, uh, 3640, um, you don't have this RAM bank on the back side, so you don't. Uh, uh, the others has that does not have no uh, protection there, but uh, this one has it. And um, yeah, I have I have also installed, as you can see, on the IDE port. I love the Mega 4000 got built-in buffered IDE, uh, which is faster than uh, the one on the Mega 1200. And um, on the 3000, we got SCSI controller, but I'm all about the IDE. Uh, I know you can have SCSI to SD, but I think this is much easier. Also installed the scan doubler because. Uh, it's built in on the Mega 3000, but it, it Amiga 4000 really need, needs to have a scan doubler to have a real nice picture. So um, yeah, it's almost done. So I will get a, a monitor now, and uh, let's test this baby. Oh, uh, the battery has been pulled out, so that's nice. All right, guys. So I have just installed. The Amiga 4000 on the on my 1084s. I have a lot of these uh, old CRT monitors, also called 1084s, another design and all that. But uh, all of them has this uh, very high pitch that just annoys me a lot. But uh, this is the only one that that I, I can use it for hours without getting a headache. So I don't know if it's this model is different or nothing but this model is just great uh, all right let's just start a, um, a demo here um, ton of these let's try that uh, all right so the front is on now the compact flash part is installed as you saw earlier, um, it was drilled here with a fan that sucks in cold air and the fan is placed here. So it actually, uh, you, I can feel a little bit of cold air coming in here, but uh, it, it comes directly on to the CPU RAM board here. I think it's just a great solution. I mean, uh, if you guys want to use one of those powerful uh, processors here, um, then I would really recommend to drill the hole and um, let your Amiga get some cold air inside. So uh, it sucks in in the front and I can feel it all the way on the back here. I got this expansion port open and I can feel the airflow. So um, it's really nice and uh, the fan in the um, PSU here, it sucks the hot air out of the cabinet. So when this one is closed, I think it's a really nice system. So um, yeah, that's nice guys, that, that's super nice. So uh, this is my Amiga 4000. Let's uh, put on the top cover. Oh, this one runs, uh, as I said earlier, runs with the Cyberstorm MK1. But if you want to play some old uh, WSD load games, I will recommend this one, the Commodore O30 processor that runs 25 MHz. Uh, and the most Amiga 4000s came with this uh, 
3640 processor. Uh, it's 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 it runs with 25 megahertz. Still a nice one, but um, nothing compared to to the to the build-in Cyberstorm one. It's just awesome. Um. All right, guys. The Mega 4000 is reassembled. Works perfect. Now you have seen how easy easy it is to reassemble, uh, disassemble it, clean it up, reassemble it. It's built great. I, I really like what they have done back in the day. So uh, nice machine to to work with and to play with. <laughs> I hate calling these machines. I love calling them computers because they're not just machines, you know. Uh, it plays great. I have played it for some hours today. I really love the the speed of the card it's really really impressive and um, I think most of the games runs okay with an 040 because if you have problems you can just disable the uh, caches and all that but it does not run everything so if you are a WHD loader gamer just like I am then I would still recommend the O30 uh, it's much more compatible with these old games but I just like the O40 because of the speed of it everything is just so fast so um, and I have a, I have made some benchmark tests of this uh, Cyberstorm MK1 and it's 54 times faster than a standard Amiga 600 so uh, <laughs> It's, it's thumbs up from me. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share my videos, guys.